Hello, welcome back to our live printer showroom here at Printer Showcase. Today, we'll try and show you how a laser printer engine works. How does it actually put toner on paper? Well, before we can answer that question, first we must ask, what is toner? Well, for starters, toner is not ink. Toner is the dry, powdery substance that is literally the lifeblood of your laser printer. Toner is generally comprised of tiny, electrostatically charged plastic particles embedded with a complex blend of pigments, resins, and other aggregates that are specifically engineered to the unique specs of an engine. So you see, toner is not just toner. Just like all people have blood that may look similar, it's still not necessarily interchangeable. There are different blood types, and in most cases, they are not compatible at all though they may appear very similar to us. Today's laser printer manufacturers each make their unique toner particles through a variety of their own refined chemical processes that are patented and protected. This is why no other toner can ever technically be equivalent to the original equipment manufacturer toner. For example, if we look at these two toners under super magnification, you can clearly see a big difference in the size, shape, and overall uniformity between the low-tech pulverized toner on the left as compared to the chemically created toner particles on the right. We have found that using alternate toners inevitably leads to major service problems with components like optical photoconductors and toner pumps, especially on color laser printers. If you're looking for low operating costs, there are plenty of low operating cost printers available without having to refill anything. Anyway, now let's take a look inside a laser printer engine and the basic components. First, we have a stationary light source and a polygon mirror. The main imaging components typically include a charger roller, an optical photoconducting drum, a toner slash developer cartridge, and transfer charger. The fuser assembly is comprised of a fuser roller and a pressure roller. So here's basically what takes place after the laser printer engine receives the signal from the printer's controller and starts the laser printing process. A charger roller electrostatically charges the rotating optical photoconducting drum. A laser beam fires into a rotating polygon mirror which etches an oppositely charged image on the photosensitive drum. Toner particles are then electrostatically attracted to the oppositely charged image on the drum. A stronger transfer charge attracts the toner particles from the drum and onto the paper. Finally, the image is made permanent when the toner is fused to the paper using heat and pressure. Color laser printers use the same principle, but now employ four imaging assemblies, one for each primary color, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Well, thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time.